guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is gonna be a gold and black smoky eye, perfect for a night out with the girls. So I'm gonna start by prepping my whole face. I used my MAC Studio Fix Cream this time around instead of my Bobbi Brown face base. This one is a little more hydrating. It's more of a thick cream consistency versus the base is more like a gel. Then I hydrated under my eyes with my hydrating eye cream and that's gonna help my concealer from creasing throughout today and then prep my lips with my MAC lip conditioner. This is a paint bot by MAC called Painterly. I was gonna use soft ochre but it uh, dried out since I forgot to close it. So I'm just gonna set that with my bare eyeshadow color from the Lorac Pro palette and then going in with the soft brown shade by MAC I'm gonna use this as my transition color in the crease so I'm gonna focus it just in the crease pretty much blending it outwards and inwards in windshield wiper type motions as you see here So this look is gonna be created using my Lorac Pro Palette. This is just the first one. And I'm gonna go in with that gold shade. It is such a pretty yellow gold, almost like a, just like a true gold to me. And I'm gonna pack that all over the lid, just on the lid space. I was trying, like I initially was trying to do almost of a cut crease type of, type of style, but I'm still working on that technique and I ended up liking how I blended it out later as you'll see how it came out in the end. So that's why you see me here going in with a tapered brush and I'm using the color Sable and I'm really just cutting it into my crease and focusing it but then I changed my mind and I started angling it down as you can see but I'm just going to continue to windshield wiper it, you know, cut it into the crease and then blend it or fluff it up upwards so that way it creates more of that smoky effect. Here I'm just using a clean blending brush with no product on it just to blend that into the crease and smoke it out just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go in with the black shade from the Lorac palette and you only literally need the tiniest amount on your brush like I literally dab it for a second and I get enough black to darken up what I want so this is where I changed it up and I just started uh, focusing it on that outer corner so that way it just deepens it up some more and this is also a clean brush. I will leave the brush numbers down below, but I just like the tip of this one. It's really, really soft. It's like a different hair, and it just blends really, really nicely. It just blends all the colors so seamlessly. It's one of my favorite brushes by MAC ever. I'm gonna go back in with that gold shade and just pack it on the lid a little more to make it more intense. And then I'm gonna line my lids with my e.l.f. liquid liner. I have been loving this pen. I didn't realize the tip was so fine and it's perfect for creating my wing. I've been practicing and playing around with different wing sizes and lengths and stuff, so let me know what you guys think of this because it's a little more extreme than what I normally do. I'm lining my waterline and my tight line with a black eyeliner by MAC called Engrave and then just putting on some mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown foundation. I believe this is the long lasting one. I'll leave everything down below. Um, it is in the shade 3.5, I know that, which is a warm beige. And I'm just gonna use a stippling brush to blend that out and create more of an airbrushed look. Going in with my concealer to conceal the dark circles under my eyes, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, which I'm like scraping the edges out of finally, so now I can like look for a new one to try, and I can't wait for the new Tarte one to come into stores, because that one looks like it, it just blends really nicely. 
After using the concealer, it is time to highlight the face. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and draw it down my nose on the tops of my cheeks. And then I'm gonna use my same stippling brush that I used for my foundation just to create a more blended look, more seamless color. And I'm gonna apply that all under the eyes and then set it with my Kat Von D shade and light palette and this is the lucid color next I'm gonna contour slash bronze with the Kat Von D palette I don't remember which color this is but it's the dark cool toned brown that is in the palette and I'm gonna use upward motions I've been practicing my technique here to really lift the face because I know I tend to drag my contour or my bronzer down and that kind of just makes your face look all washed like muddy so I'm trying to work on that and then here's just a little nose sculpting action for blush I'm going to be using MAC Warm Soul this is one of my most favorite MAC blushes ever it's perfect for any season like spring, summer, fall, it's just perfect. And now I'm gonna be highlighting with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlights, the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm gonna go in with the Sable color from the Lorac Pro Palette and smoke out that black eyeliner and just make it all just a lot more like smoky and intense. For lips, I am using my MAC Myth lipstick and then I'm gonna go over it with Boy Bait Cream Sheen which is also by MAC. This is my absolute favorite nude combo ever in life. It is so beautiful. I don't know why I ever stopped wearing it. Well, I do because like I became obsessed with matte lips. But that is besides the point. I have been loving this lip color lately. Looking back at it on my camera, I did look a little too nude, so I went in with, with MAC Half Red Lip Liner and kind of like just dabbed it around like the outside of my lip and just blended a little bit on the inside just to make it a little less looking like my skin and I love how it came out. So that is going to complete this makeup tutorial. I did add some falsies here just on the ends of my lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.